Well, the Twins and the Rangers are already here for spring training. Next year, we could be watching the Red Sox. Uh, the Red Sox, too. So we're going to keep an eye on them this spring as people watch them and get ready for them to come here. But, but the Red Sox last spring training in Winter Haven is off to a depressing start. First baseman Carlos Quintana broke his arm in a car accident in his native Venezuela today. He'll be out for four months. New left-hander Frank Viola made the scene on day one, but three-time Cy Young Award winner Roger Clemens was nowhere to be seen. No one knows why. New Sox manager Butch Hobson had more trouble to deal with today than he needed in his first day on the job between Clemens' absence and Quintana's injury. Hobson says Mo Vaughn will play first until Quintana's healthy. The rest of the Red Sox, including Mike Greenwell, should be present and accounted for in the next few days. Well, among the early arrivals at the Texas Rangers camp in Charlotte County is a guy we've heard a lot about every spring but never seen much of during the summer. That's all going to change this time around. How long has Dean Palmer been the Rangers' third baseman of the future? I really knew that I wasn't going to stay up this year, no matter how well I did anyway. But, you know, I'm just happy I did well. He needed a little more minor league experience, and uh, I think Dean Palmer's going to be a star in the big leagues for a long time. I was planning on coming down here and having another good spring like I did last year, and maybe have an outside shot of making the team. But uh, now it looks like I'm probably going to have to start out in AAA. You know, I'm coming here now and, and, and trying to win a job from somebody, and, um, you know, that's, that's the bottom line. Now the bottom line is Dean Palmer is finally the Rangers' third baseman of the present. It feels good, you know. It's, it's nice to come to spring training and know you have a job. You know, it doesn't mean you, uh, you can sit down and not work hard, but, you know, it's a good feeling. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited because it's my first full year in the big leagues, and, uh, and I'm looking to have a good year. Even though he's been a phenom in the last four spring trainings, Palmer's only 23 years old. You can count on seeing him in a Ranger uniform for a long time to come. Yeah, I'm still young, you know. I got a lot of time to, uh, you know, hopefully have a long career, and that's what I'm um, looking forward to. And, uh, you know, I want to start this year. This minor league slugger had some major adjustments to make when he first that showed up really in the show. Deep. The Rangers really didn't like Palmer's 187 really average, but they really loved deep. his 15 home runs in just a half season and his willingness to work hard to become a top-notch third baseman. Now that Dean's dream is a reality, he wants to help make the Rangers the front runners in the American League West. Oh, yeah, I think this is uh, our year. Uh, we got a great team. We got good pitching staff, and uh, I don't see why we can't win. And today was the first day for pitchers and catchers to work out, except Nolan Ryan. He probably won't be here till the end of the week when the rest of the Rangers are set to report. All right, let's head to the hoop now. The Sixers crown the Kings in Philly. Here comes Charles Barkley. Sixers on a 15-4 run to start the game. What a night Armand Gilliam had. Here Barkley finds Gilliam. He finds the bucket for two. He had 18 by this point in the second quarter. Philly led by seven. Then it was Gilliam again working in the paint. Gets the little hook. He finished with 26. The Sixers built a 12-point lead in the fourth and held off the Kings. Barkley had 19. The final, Philly 108, Sacramento 96. Other games, the Hawks nailed the Nuggets. Eddie Johnson had 26 in Seattle's win over the T-Wolves and the Warriors. Outshot the Mavericks in a big one down in Texas, 138-131. Now let's put this show on ice. The North Stars beat up the Devils in Jersey late in the first period. No score. Watch Minnesota's Brian Bellows make the steal and take it in to put the North Stars up 1-0. Then late in the second period, the Devils tied it. Tom Chorsky fired this one off Darcy Wakaluk's glove and into the net to make it 1-1. But with less than a minute to go in the period, Mike Craig skates in. He shoots, he scores. Minnesota won it 3-1 breaking a four-game losing streak. And all those uh, Olympic guys will be getting back in the NHL, including Mr. Ray LeBlanc, who you'll probably see up a little bit. The he is going to be dynamite. Yeah. All right, thanks a lot, Ken.